So I had to give a third uh, of these cool uh, coding lessons with Fortnite Creative a try. And for the third one, I chose Building an Obstacle Course, Collision Detection Triggers and Events in Fortnite Creative. This one was much more involved, and it took me the longest, I think, yeah. And it would have taken me a lot longer had I made a much better game. Or, I should say, a much better um, obstacle course. So I just stuck with the basics of the lesson to make my obstacle course. So it's not really much of an obstacle course. Um, but for me, it was enjoyable just making the triggers and traps work. So here we go into my obstacle course island. So for this one, they taught us how to set a spawn portal or plate. And then I built these different uh, triggers. This just trigger triggers a bomb. And then these different crate structures that people go through the players so they would have to go through and avoid the obstacles and um survive i figure had i had time to storyboard this because this is something i would like to build out on paper first um i would do it maybe <clears throat> two so it's to a player versus a player, maybe three, uh, maybe do it with teams and have them do like a relay race. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Um, so as you can see here, I didn't really give it any rhyme or reason. I guess if I wanted people to actually do these in order, I could uh, number them, but I haven't learned how to do that if you can put a sign with a number. So they showed us how to put different traps which you put them in your inventory quite differently than other prefab or devices, prefab items or devices, which I thought was interesting. But it taught me a little more about how Fortnite Creative works. But let me start the game and just go through as a player instead of as a builder. And that's another thing. I would like... So I, I made the spawning plate invisible, but the thing the spawning plate was on is still visible. I wonder if I could make that invisible. So if I go through one of these, this one is pretty simple. You just avoid that because if you hit it, it deals you... I don't even like it. Damage. So I took 5 damage. I went down from 100 to 95. And then this thing has a warning sign. And if I go in it... Oh! I take damage! Now I'm down to 75. Ow! Um, these also have different, and, and they teach you how to not get killed by this. This one is a poison dart one. Ah, see, so if I trigger it, then I can run through. I learned that's how I survived that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known, because I can't jump that high. Um, so some of these are, oh yeah, that one I already went through. Um, this one is another one. This one will kill you instantly. Take your life down to zero. So I really want to avoid that one, because that one is the deadliest one. Um, this, I don't know what it is, it's just a wall, it's just a barrier. But they had us try this nebula, oh it's beautiful. And I can't do damage to it, so it's just there. Then I've got some ice. I don't know what that does, except it makes me slide for a little bit. Uh oh, I forgot what I put here. Oh, rats. Oh, what was that? Oh, it changed my movement speed, so whoa, made me move a little faster. And this one puts, whoa, this one just makes you f get thrown about. But it didn't do any damage. I'm still at 75 health. And this one you have to jump over two of those. Oh, this one's cool. When you trigger this, it sends a damage dealing pulse thing. Oh, dang, I was too slow. Jeez, I thought I could outrun it. I guess I made it go too fast. <laughs> Note to self, make it go so that people can actually outrun it. Um, there's a cool trap I put here somewhere. I kind of want to go through that one. It's going to put blocks of ice on my feet, and then I can't stop myself. Ooh, I forgot what I put there. What is this? 
Oh, this one slows me down. And then here there should be a bomb. Ooh, look at that. Oh, took some major damage. So I'm now down to 35 health. Now this one, they showed us how to do this. It's pretty cool. Okay, so if I go in here and I do my dance, this should turn off. Yeah, see, it turned off that one damage dealing area. So you turn it off by doing a dance. Eh, pretty cool. I mean, these are just uh, some of the things. Uh oh, yes, I got another bomb here. Boom! Oh, I'm still alive! <laughs> Woohoo! I don't know if you take any fall damage, but hey, you always have a glider. And the glider makes you come back faster because I had that one blow me way off. So you, you can control all these things. It's awesome. And if I end the game now, I, sh I won because I'm the only player and I'm still alive. I forgot what I made the winning condition. I think I made it the last one standing or the one with the most life. Let's see. Is that here? I don't think it's here. Um, I don't know where those settings are. I still have to learn where all the settings are. But pretty cool. So these bombs, this one I didn't trigger. Um, but you can set the bomb trigger to the same channel as the bomb. And then the bomb, you can tell it how big the blast radius is, how much damage it does to the player. So I didn't want this to kill the player outright. I wanted the player to still be able to um, go through all the obstacles. And then you can choose knock back, how far it knocks the player back. I mean, oh my goodness, so much fun. Um, and oh, you can also determine whether it damages the structures around it and how much damage. So like this one, I believe destroys that structure because I made the blast area damage uh, huge. But I still can't find where did I set my winning condition. It just doesn't look like it. Hmm. Uh, mm, no. Ooh, my island. <laughs> yes, this must be it. So, I had it set to most score wins. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Because I want it to make it the one who has the most life wins. So, I'll have to figure out if I can do that. Uh, but that's how I did this one. Also, very fun, very worth it. And if you have a game design class, I can imagine kids can design a really cool obstacle course game that would be so much fun to play. Even in esports, um, player versus player uh, just sounds way cool. So that's it. That's my third one.